everyone and welcome to GIR Golf. I am Jim and welcome to today's golf rules tip, red penalty areas. Now we see these red stakes and these red lines on the golf courses that we play and the goal of this video is to educate you golfers on what your options are so that whenever your ball ends up in these penalty areas you know what those options are to help you make the best decision in order to improve your golf scores and to also play the game correctly. Let's get right to the action. Okay, in order to illustrate what our options are for a red penalty area, I have a hypothetical situation here at the house driving range for us. I'm going to pretend that I am playing a par four and I've just hit my tee shot right here. So I'm laying shot number one, getting ready to hit shot number two. Now in the camera, you should be able to see some red stakes over here to my right. That's my red penalty area. The orange pole in the distance is acting as my golf hole. So now I'm gonna hit a shot into the red penalty area and we'll talk about what the options are. So I'm gonna get right to it. Okay, so there I've hit my ball, my second shot here on this hypothetical situation. And now the ball has come to rest inside that red penalty area. Before I leave this spot, I'm gonna put a tee down right where I struck this ball and we'll come back to this later. I'm gonna put a tee down in the area that I struck this ball. We'll come back and talk about this spot later. Let's go down to where the ball is now. So on camera, you can see where my second shot lies. It is definitely inside the red penalty area, but I'm not gonna go right up to my ball at this point because I need to mark where the ball crossed the margin of the red penalty area. In other words, in this case, where my ball flew over the red penalty area. So I'm gonna put a tee down where I estimate that spot to be, and we'll come back to this. I have to make that spot because I washed my ball to be somewhere in here. So I'm gonna put a tee down right there. Now, my ball flew over there, okay? Now, if your ball rolled on the ground, the same principle would apply. If, if, if my ball had rolled on the ground and crossed here, uh, my entry point would be right here. Anytime we are dealing with uh, penalty areas, we gotta concentrate on the entry point uh, because there's a couple options that we'll have based off this entry point. So I marked that, but there is an option that we're gonna talk about with dealing with the ball where it's at right now. We'll go up to the ball and talk about that next. Now here's my golf ball where it actually came to rest inside this red penalty area. The rules of golf offer us the option, which is our first option, is to play the balls that lies inside the red penalty area. And there's no penalty for this if I choose to do so. In this case, I would really consider that because my ball is sitting in a pretty good spot. I do have this tree right here to negotiate, but with the uh, fact that I'm not going to have any penalty strokes, I would really probably do that right here and try to punch it out and get it onto my green and still have a chance to save par because I would have no penalty stroke there. Uh, often that won't be the case when you hit into a red penalty area. A lot of times it'll be in, in a lot of stuff that you just can't reasonably hit out of or you may not even be able to find your ball. Uh, but in this case, you know, that's something I would, I would do in this situation. I would play the balls that lies without a penalty, save me some strokes. Uh, it worked out pretty good for me here. But now let's go back and talk about if it did not work out pretty good for me here. Uh, one, one other thing I will add, if you do, do decide to play this balls that lies with the 2019 version of the golf rules, you can now ground your club in a penalty area. And uh, used to, you couldn't do that. So I could get up here and even ground my club behind the ball. Uh, that's just something I thought I would throw in there if I chose to play the balls that lies without any penalty. So option one, play the balls that lies, no penalty. Let's go to option two. Option two allows us to work off of our entry point. Remember how I marked where my ball crossed the margin of the red penalty area. And I've got a tee down here. Option number two with a one stroke penalty is to take a drop within two club lengths of that entry point, not any closer to the hole. So I'm gonna, best way to do it is to take your, take your uh, club, which needs to be the longest club in your bag, excluding your putter. In most of, most of your cases and in mine, it will be your driver. However, it needs to be the longest club in your ba bag except for your putter. So in that case, it's my driver, like I've said. And the best way to do two club lengths is to simply roll the driver over. So I'll demonstrate that. I'll put the driver down, okay? And now I gotta make sure that I'm not any closer to the hole. Okay, I feel pretty good about there. Best way to do this is to envision an imaginary circle around the hole. And using the principles of a circle, if I, if I, as long as I don't take a drop inside that circle, I know that I will be uh, farther away from the hole, not closer, because we cannot be closer to the hole. So I'm looking here, I think I could go to about right there and be fine. 
okay? Maybe even right there. Now, take it, just simply roll it over. Just like that, okay? And I'm gonna put a T down. And I can look right here, I feel very confident that I am not gonna be any closer to the hole than that point, okay? And then next, I'm gonna uh, put some more T's down and do what we do with all of our rules videos when we're taking a drop. I'll spray some foot powder spray lines on the ground to, for the benefit of you viewers to show you what kind of relief area you have to drop in. Uh, again, that's not something you want to do on the golf course. Just put some tees down, make your drop and go. But to help you out to visualize, we're going to do that next and we'll take our drop. So I sprayed some lines here on the ground with some foot powder spray to illustrate what a two club length dropping area would look like here in our situation. You can see with two club links, it's a pretty big area, a big piece of pizza or pie as we call it. Now, first thing you want to do in this case, I was able to go find my golf ball. Uh, the rules of golf allow you not, not only to uh, uh, clean your golf ball, which I highly recommend, but you can actually substitute a new ball, put a new ball in play. A lot of people don't know that. Anytime, you, anytime you're taking a drop, whether it is for a penalty in this case, one stroke penalty, or a drop that has uh, no penalty attached, you're allowed to clean your ball and even uh, put a new ball in play. A lot of people don't know that. So if your ball has been scuffed up from being in the penalty area, uh, feel free to put a new ball in play if you can. Just a little, little tip there. Another tip is after I inspect my ball and clean it or replace it, is to survey where I want to hit this shot from. You know, use the rules of golf to your advantage. Uh, look at this piece of pizza or pie. Think about your situation. You know, what makes the best sense? In this case, I'm kind of looking here. I'm kind of thinking this is feels pretty soft right here. You know, there's not a lot of tree trouble here. I kind of like to drop it right here. And of course, we take our ball and uh, drop it at knee height, okay? Drop it at knee height. Ball landed in the relief area, stayed in the relief area. We're good to go. In our hypothetical situation, shot one was where I started. I hit shot two into the penalty area. I just dropped shot three because this is a one stroke penalty and I'm hitting shot four right here. Now, there are some other options with red penalty areas and we'll go to those next. Okay, so option number three with a one stroke penalty is to take a drop on what is called the backwards extension. The backward extension is the point uh, where we crossed the margin of the red penalty area, which we marked down with the T. Because we're farther away this time, and I'll explain why, I have put a yellow uh, alignment rod where that T was, just for the benefit of you viewers. Now, on the backward extension, we can take a drop between our entry point and the flag, or the golf hole, in my case, it's the orange pole here at the house, back as far as we like uh, and take a drop. So, this is another option, again, with a one-stroke penalty. So, let's talk about that. So. I draw a line from my golf hole, which is my orange pole, and then where my entry point was, which is my yellow alignment rod, just for the benefit of you viewers. And if I draw a straight line, I can take a drop anywhere. Now you can't take a drop in a penalty area, but up there, right there next to that red line. And I can take a drop all the way back to you viewers in this camera, back as far as I would like. Uh, within, there are some limitations there. You, you, you gotta stay on the golf course, okay? You can't go all the way to, to, uh, to, to California, you know, or anything. But, but in this case, what the benefit is, if, if my two club length option wasn't uh, a good option, this gives me another option that I could come back here to where I feel like I, I can take some of these little trees out of play, hit over them. Uh, and that's, that's what I would do in a situation if I was, was to choose the backward extension. I would come at least to back here just to help take some of those trees out. So I'll put a T down and I'll show you how to take a drop on the backwards extension next. So here we are on the backward extension. I've sprayed some lines on the ground. Now with this, we put a T down um, anywhere back as far as we would like, and we can take a drop within one club length of that point, not any closer to the hole. So I've done that. I've laid just one club length here, and the same uh, tips that I give you guys, clean your ball, substitute it if needed, survey the area. Where do you want to hit this next shot from? In this case, I want to get as far as I, far away from the penalty area and these trees as I can. I'm going to drop over here just because it's going to give me a better chance to hit this up close and uh, try to 
try to get out of here with no less, no more than a bogey, you know, and, and keep my scores lower. So think about that. Where do you want to play this next shot? Uh, think about it. I, I see a lot of golf. I'm a golf coach. People get up here and, and they, they just drop the ball. They don't think about, oh, I get all the way over here. It's going to help me have a better angle in. You know, remember that. Choose where you want to drop it. In this case, I want to get over here as far as I can. Another little tip. I can stand outside the dropping area as long as the ball lands inside there and stays in there. You know, another little little thing a lot of people don't know. So I got to drop it at knee height. I feel like I want to get over here as far as I can, okay? Drop it here at knee height. Ball landed, ball stayed in. Um, I'm free to hit my shot. Uh, the same math that we did down there applies here. My first shot was shot one on this hypothetical par four. Shot two into the uh, red penalty area. I just dropped shot three because it is a one stroke penalty. I'm hitting shot four right here. Hopefully I can hit it up close to the hole, uh, tap it in for uh, an easy bogey, move on to the next hole, okay? Now, that's, that's the third option. We're gonna go to the fourth option next. If you remember, I put a tee down where I originally struck the golf ball that went into the red penalty area. Okay, so now for option four with a one stroke penalty as well, we can take a drop at the side of our last stroke within one club length in this case. Now, this was a hypothetical par four. If this happened to be my tee shot that I hit into the red penalty area, I, I'm allowed to go back to the tee and tee it up uh, just like normal uh, with a one stroke penalty, okay? Uh, in this case, I hit my ball in the general area at the side of my last stroke. I take a drop within one club length, not near the hole. I'll lay the driver down, mark it out, spray some lines, and uh, we'll take our drop here with a one stroke penalty on option four. So I'm up here at the side of my last stroke with option number four. And I laid the marks here on the ground, excuse me, sprayed them on the ground rather. And the same thing, I know I sound like a broken record, but clean your ball, uh, substitute it if needed, use the rules of golf to your advantage. Golf is a very difficult game and uh, make sure you use the rules to your advantage. And also be sure to survey the area. In this case, there's not a lot of trouble up there. Uh, the grass all looks really good. So I'm just gonna drop somewhere here, somewhere here in the middle. So I come up here, knee height, drop it. Ball landed in the relief area, stayed in there, I'm good to go. And so let's do the math, okay? First shot in this hypothetical situation was right here. That's shot one. Shot two, into the red penalty area, okay? I just dropped shot three because option four is also a one stroke penalty. So I just dropped shot three right there. I'd be hitting shot four. Hopefully I get it up there close, tap in for a bogey, move on to the next hole, uh, or even hole out from here. You know, golf is a, there's lots of ways to make pars in golf. And that'd be awesome for you to get up here and just hole it out from here. It, it could happen. Uh, but uh, it's very important to know what your options are when you enter these red penalty areas. And uh, hopefully this video has educated you on what your options are. And I will add that there may be a possible fifth option with red penalty areas, and that would be a drop zone. Uh, this is not always the case. And usually it's around uh, par threes and that kind of thing with lots of water. Uh, look at your scorecard at your golf course or any signage that lets you know that there's an additional option of a drop zone. Again, that'll be a one stroke penalty. Often it's up there uh, close to the green. So that may be a better option than any of these. So the lesson is know what your options are, consider them under the circumstance so that you can lower your scores and play the game accurately. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to GR Golf. Uh, be on the lookout for future videos from us. Be sure to push that subscribe button, push that like button, that helps us out a lot. Remember to smile often, have fun out there, and God loves you.